Hey folks, Keith McGowan, the Outboard Dad here, here to help you have a better boating experience. Today we're going to show you how to replace a poppet valve in four easy steps. One, take this cover off. Two, take the poppet valve cover. Three, take the poppet valve body off. And then if you replace your poppet valve, or if you're not, then you just reassemble. Four steps, nice and easy. Check it out. So we're looking in the book here. We see the exploded view of the 135 horse. That's this drawing here and we see there's a poppet valve behind here. I can see it when I sneak my flashlight in there, but we're gonna have to pull this little electrical assembly off with our starter relay and our trim and tilt relays. We're gonna disconnect the battery, which I've already done, but you always wanna make sure you don't have anything that could possibly short out. So let's pull this apart and see what it looks like and read on a little more. So our poppet valve assembly is behind our relays. So there's one, two, three bolts that come out, and then it's back inside here. So there's one, two, three, four bolts for our poppet assembly right inside here, this cover. And we will go ahead and remove those co that cover and see what it looks like inside. So here is a little better close-up view of our poppet valve assembly. Well, the cover for it anyway. So there's a bolt here, bolt here, bolt here, and bolt here. So again, this is behind our relay assembly here that we took three bolts out of, and it's right in there, has a tube coming off of it we're gonna disconnect. Looks like it's never been apart, so let's open this up. Nice, clean bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that tie strap and get that hose off first before I take the last bolts out. It may be harder to do it when it's all loose. Uh, plus, I wanna see how the poppet valve spring all goes in together to make sure I remember, even though I have a book, and I have a parts blow up online, I still like to see when I take it apart. Sometimes it's good to have a set of needle nose like this to get into tight places. This one has some corrosion. I see a fish scale. Might have been used for taking some hooks out of some fish's mouth, but as I'm looking at this, the hose is still painted from the factory. So this has never been removed because as soon as I squeeze that hose and start to pull it off, all that paint cracks right off the rubber. So I get more and more excited every time I get deeper into this motor. So we're gonna get this hose off, and then we're gonna take the rest of those two bolts out. So now I'm trying to get the other two with this. Now that the hose is off. So here's our poppet valve cover. A Little bit of corrosion inside there, nothing crazy. It does have a little uh, weep hole in the back of it. Probably let air in so that poppet valve can open up. Okay, next we're going to move the poppet, remove the poppet valve and body. So that has a gasket on either side. And we can see this pretty well now. Uh, it has a nice little plastic ring on it here. I see a little bit of corrosion here, but nothing major. Actually, the gasket's in really good shape as well. Um, but the poppet valve works fine. Not a problem with it, not stuck. I can see inside here where the there's a rubber ring that this poppet valve meets against and the pressure comes behind this when it gets too, too much pressure on it. And it's nice and clean inside there. I'm just gonna kind of clean off the gasket surfaces. I did order new gaskets for this and we're just gonna put this back in because it's nice and clean, nothing really wrong with it. So if you remember, we removed our poppet valve. Now we have our new gaskets on it. You can see where it goes inside here. You can see the shape of the holes where it goes into. I went in and cleaned out with a rag, made sure it was nice and clean. This was, sometimes you have to scrape a little bit, but this was very clean. So we're ready to go ahead. I'm gonna put a little bit of sealer around the outside of this cork. Technically you don't have to, it's a cork gasket, but I like to kind of ensure it doesn't leak. Don't want to take it apart again. So just a fine layer, nothing too crazy. I don't want it oozing out the sides. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our cover on, which goes next that we have all cleaned up. And that cover goes on and then our bolts will go on there. So I got some sealer on this now. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stick it in place so it stays. Hopefully it stays. So now that our poppet valve is stuck in place, we got a little bit of sealer on the cover. We're gonna put that in place too and put our bolts in. So now we're tightening up our bolts. Again, evenly. Then I like to come in with a hand ratchet and make sure they're all good. So remember, I'm smushing a cork gasket, so I don't want to go too crazy with this. 
I don't want the gaskets oozing out the sides. I just want to tighten them up, make it good and snug. So if you remember, we have a hose here that we took off. We're going to reconnect that to the cover of the poppet valve with a good tie strap. I like these south wire. They last longer. They're not brittle. Don't break. We'll get that in, then we'll do a water test. And we're all set with a new poppet valve. So we're going to tighten up this tie strap after we get the hose in place. Give it a little twist with a pair of needle nose. Tightens them up good. Cut the excess off. Now we're going to put our mounting plate back in place. Hook up any wiring we disconnected. Three bolts in here and we're all done. Please like, subscribe, and send me any comments that you have.